Hi, today we've got another update for you to help SIF diagnose some of the problems with uh, turbo diesels and then this particular model is the turbo diesel Mitsubishi Triton. Now this particular customer has been to several different workshops to try and solve um, surging issues with the car not performing and going as good as what it should. Um, and he's brought it in to us today to investigate possible soot problem in the EGR. You can watch our other video about that. Um, but what I wanted to show you, which is a common fault, which is commonly overlooked, is this sensor here. Now get my cameraman to come up a little bit closer. This particular sensor sits here, which is plugged in, and it measures the air coming out of the air box into the engine before it goes to the turbo. And it's vital in measuring the air flow, or air mass meter, depending on what you want to call it. And it has a huge effect on the overall engine performance and drivability. Now, straight away, I get my camera to look up close, you can see how bad the dust is around the outside, but it's crept in inside, and all this here is dirt, because he's obviously drove it, driven it through an, a very dusty environment or hasn't checked it. But what I wanted to show you carefully here is that little sensor on that side there, you see is one color, but look on that side there, which is the direction of the airflow and how dirty it is. Now effectively what that does is it dulls the sensitivity of the sensor, which then in turn sends a poor signal to the ECU, and then that in turn causes the engine to not uh, perform as good as what it should. So straight away, this is something that needs to be checked and cleaned first. Now, if you're careful, you can be serviced and reset um, and reused properly if it's using the right servicing equipment. It's a very delicate sensor. They're not cheap to replace. You don't want to just go and throw it away and put a new one in. You can actually service them first. So whenever you're looking after your car, this is something that you want to be aware of. The next thing that we'll then look at is inside the inlet manifold, but also straight away, you can see down the bottom here how he's got a leak at the bottom of the throttle body. When I get my camera in to get close, you can see, I'll just wipe it away because it's pretty obvious then, all of that buildup of black soot. Somehow he's got a leak at the throttle body, which may be an air leak or may be manifesting itself into something more of an issue. But Number one thing we want to talk about today was the airflow meter sensor in the airbox. Keep an eye on it, depending on what type of filter you've got. The factory filter is this particular one here, which interestingly comes from Mitsubishi with a pre-cleaner, but you can see the, the dust coming off it. We recommend a, an oiled foam filter made by Unifilter. They're made here in Australia. The advantage of those filters is they will keep a lot more of the dust out of the engine takes a little bit more maintenance because they actually work better and that's what they're designed to do is to collect the dust and you won't have that problem. But um, hopefully that little bit of information will help you learn more about your car no matter where you are. Of course, um, follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Instagram. Have a look at our other videos, particularly on the EGR, that's the exhaust gas recirculation problem with turbo diesel engines and um, it'll help you learn more about your car. But for today, I'm Brett Middleton. Thanks for watching.